Welcome back to, well, hold on a Welcome back to Ditch This Ditches! We're gonna have a fun time tonight. I'm in a wicked good mood. Why, I don't know, but I'm in a wicked good mood. We're gonna make a nice roast chicken tonight. What do you think, Frank? Our way. We're gonna make roast chicken our way, and you're gonna love it. Every last bite. All right, people, this is the ingredients for our delicious roast chicken at home for your family, really cheap. It probably feeds six, eight people with the ingredients you have in your pantry, your cupboard, your living room. I don't care where you get the ingredients from, but it's all good to eat. And the Dixa and Mr. Our Boss over here, <laughs> Frank, is going to put this together for you. What we have here is chicken. I'm not gonna pass it to Frank today because it's, it's a lot of, it's big stuff. And the little stuff I'll, I'll pass to him. We got a little bit of salt and pepper in the pepper grinder mills. Thank you, Frank. Did you get another hand there? We have chicken broth that we had made in a previous show that we're gonna have to show you guys how we make it with the boiling up the broth with the celery, the onions, and the, and the carrots. So here's, here we go. We have celery, carrots, hey, hold on. potatoes. Hold on. You got a light reflection in your eye? Yeah, and now it's worse. We have a six pound roast turkey. I knew it. We have a six pound chicken, uh, oven roasting chicken. And I got it so cheap because it was the last day of sale. It was an eight dollar, it was, five, it, it's, it's five dollars a change a pound normally. Who cares? I do. I'm gonna feed a family very cheap. Okay. All right. I also found some drumsticks, which I always cook drumsticks. I, I always like, when I make a, a nice bake of roasting something, I always like to put some other chicken or something else in with it. So here we go. I got a roasting chicken. I got some beautiful drumsticks, chicken drumsticks. I got about eh, two pounds of, 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 of just all purpose um, potatoes. A couple of pounds, uh, me about a, uh, me about a, uh, me about a pound and a half of carrots. Uh, a bunch of celery, but we're gonna use the tops and we're gonna cut them, maybe a half, of, half it is, maybe a half a pound of celery. The salt and pepper, as I said. Um, a thermometer, because we need to be at least 180 degrees when this is done, in about three hours, set at 350 degrees. And also a little bit of butter and chicken broth. So let's put this together, get it in the oven, and make us all happy. Let's go. Cameraman, over here. Nah. This is Tail. <laughs> what? The last day of sale, you get it for half price. Yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. 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 And just a side note, we're gonna take the celery, cut it to size for the bottom of the pan to place the chicken on. We just washed our hands, we just washed the chicken. We're gonna put the celery down, all the vegetables, wash the, the potatoes and carrots, cut them down to size, put it all together, and I'm gonna show you. I gotta tell you people, I forgot one thing. We are gonna put onions in there too. We need that onion flavor and maybe a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm just thinking of it only because I want the broth to be really nice at the end. So when we make our roux and add the broth to it, we have a delicious, delicious uh, chicken gravy, so. He said something. He don't talk. Don't even ask questions to him. Okay. I'm a normal character. I can't talk. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. We're not doing audio right now. Right? We're not doing audio. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Alright, our next step is, now that we've cleaned it all out, washed our hands, and he's holding it over here, Frank. We're gonna, um, put salt in its asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and the cavity. <laughs> What's going on here? Everybody, everybody thinks it's funny to put salt in a chicken's asshole. Yeah, one time I called Target, and uh, I'm on an apple juice bottle, and the lady says to me, 
are you calling on a cup? I says, no, ma'am. This is the apple juice bottle. She goes, oh, as long as it's an apple juice bottle, you don't have to worry about it. As long as it's not a cup. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I said, that lady's crazy. She said, how, how do you call on a cup? Well, yeah. Pro Progresso does it with a can. There are competitors. We don't talk about them. Oh, sorry. They're sorry, not, Frank. They're not real they're chefs. Dogs. Sorry, Frank. Holla, holla for a dollar. Well, I'll tell you one little thing while I'm sitting here doing this butter on this, this beautiful, beautiful chicken. But uh, when I was a kid, my father, well, we lost a game. And my father goes, ah, Jesus Christ, I, I put it in the attic. I said, Dad, but you can't fit in the attic. He said, ah, I threw it in there. He says, the hole. He says, There's a hole in the attic. Just throw it in. So he says, Deitch, which is me when I was a kid. The dickster was Deitch. He said, Deitch, come here. Take your clothes off. Just leave your underwear on. Them days I did wear underwear. So I go, why, Dad? He said, I'm going to get you in that hole to get that chutes and ladders. I said, all right. So he greased me up with butter, shoved me through that hole, and I got a splinter. A splinter. An unbelievable splinter. But I went in, came back out, we took out the splinter, and then we made chicken with the butter. Did you play the game? No, we didn't have time. I was bleeding. And... People, as I sit here and we pick the last pot of the, uh, the butternut squash from the garden, this is straight from the garden, people. Now, I gotta wash it actually because it's, it's sitting on the ground. But what I wanna do is, I'm gonna put it in here and let it roast with the chicken. It's a little side dish. Now, so, right from the dixter to the butternut squash to the water, back into the pan, back into the oven, and we'll be right back. Wait, wait. What? Whatever. No, not whatever. Right, Frank? Well, people, I got to tell you one more. There's this new restaurant on the moon. The place is great. The food is delicious. But there's no atmosphere. Hey, that was that was Chuck's joke. No atmosphere? Yeah. That was... I'm uh, sorry. That wasn't... You can't... Chuck? Chuck. Sorry, Chuck. What's up? Bring it, bring it, bring it, huh? Carve it, carve it. I want to say, carve it. I want to say, I want to say it's done. You're just gonna carve it. No, carve it, carve it. Shut up, 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 carve it. I don't care. Cut, Dick. Cut. This is how it's happening. It's happening. Dick, where he's carving. Evan, shut up. This is great, I'm great, and you're an ingrate. Till next week, people, I'm gonna keep eating this chicken and all the delightful uh, uh, What the What's wrong with you? Uh, What's wrong with you, boy? Code Red, we're shutting it down. Come on, guys. Come what are you doing? Come on, on it, guys. What's going on here? We're, we're shutting it, we're shutting it. He slipped on the oil, I think. Go oh, home, guys. Go <laughs> oh, he slipped on the oil. We're gonna need, we're gonna need a paramedic over. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Come on, guys. I think we need help. What the hell? He slipped on chicken oil. What the? What, what, what the hell's this thing? Hey, leave my chicken alone. What the hell? Watch out! You get the yellow gloves on. That's the biggest train wreck ever. That was so stupid. We didn't make any sense. Celery. Hold on, hold on. You're going so fast. Do it again. Celery. Wait, I gotta focus. Hold on. Oh my God. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. Gone.